I would like to introduce a new electronics maker project, a minimalistic DAB Plus digital radio. The device uses an Arduino microcontroller, a DAB radio shield, and some off-the-shelf electronics components. All documentation is public on GitHub, including 3D printed parts, the PCB, and all software. DAB Plus radios tend to have complicated user interfaces and tend to be difficult to use as the standard is very feature rich. This can be a major challenge for visually impaired people. The idea of this project is to make an easy to use digital radio and to reduce the user interface to a bare minimum. So here's the radio. I have designed a clean 3D printed housing with large knobs and buttons. There's a on off switch with a status LED then there's a volume knob here. And we have six station buttons. So you choose the station, set the volume. CDU Generalsekretär Carsten Linnemann hat eine bittere Niederlage. And done. There's no display, there are no hidden functions of the buttons, nothing. Of course, there needs to be a way to assign stations to the station buttons. The idea is to have that done not by the visually impaired individual, but by someone who can help. Let me show you how that works. You need a mobile phone or a computer that you can connect via Wi-Fi with the radio. Select the network mini DAB and then start a web browser. Enter the address of the start page of the radio, which is 192.168.4.1. Hit open. And then you will see the um, start page of a digital radio. In the upper part of that page, there is a list of the available radio stations. You can scroll through that list and you can select a station in that list. So um, let's turn on the volume. And we now select a station here and the radio tunes to that station. Below the station list, there is a window where digital information of the station is displayed. All DAB stations send um, digital information and that's displayed here. Furthermore, we have a scan button. So if we want to perform a scan, which I will not do for time reasons now, takes a while, but if you do that, um, the station list will be deleted. Also the assignment of the station buttons will be deleted and that information will be regenerated. That brings me to the um, station buttons. As you can see here on the digital interface, there is a list of six radio buttons. These six buttons correspond to the six physical buttons on the radio. So if I get a button here, the radio tunes um, to that station, you can see it on the digital interface and also the other way around. So if I select a station here, the radio tunes um, to that station. So how can we assign a radio station to one of the buttons? The way it's done to first of all select the um, station here in the station list. So let's say we um, take this one. And um, now we go to our um, radio buttons and we just um, hit and hold for two seconds and then the um, station is programmed to the button. Okay, the last um, button here on the list is the Wi-Fi configuration button. You will usually uh, not need this. However, if you would like to integrate 
the radio in your local Wi-Fi network, you need to um, enter the Wi-Fi credentials, which you can uh, do here, and um, then the radio will be integrated in the um, Wi-Fi network. So let's have a closer look at the inside of the radio. I have already taken out the uh, screws. There are four screws here at um, the button. And now I can remove the bottom cover. We can take out the front cover, the back cover. Now, what you can see is here on the left-hand side and the right-hand side, the two speakers. These uh, speakers are connected with this cable here with the radio shield. So we also remove the loudspeakers. And now we can see the uh, electronics of the device. The green board at the bottom is the carrier board. It connects all um, operating elements like the uh, six buttons, the on-off switch, the um, power indicator, LED, um, all that with the microcontroller, which sits here in the, mid uh, in the middle. This avoids complicated wiring. The microcontroller board is the um, black one here in the middle. That is a, a uni, um, UNO um, form factor ESP32 Arduino microcontroller. Now we can also remove this easily because it's just um, plugged here on top of the um, of the sheet below, and this is the uh, radio DAB shield. That's also um, plugged on top of the, um, of the carrier board. We uh, also take out here um, this screw because then we can uh, remove the um, DAB shield as well. So here we go. That's the um, DAB shield, and now you see the bare um, carrier bolt. That's the electronics, and as you can see, the setup is very simple. It's meant to um, be easy to reproduce. Uh, the radio was designed as a do-it-yourself project. The housing consists of 3D printed parts. The core of the electronics is an Arduino ESP32 microcontroller. The software was programmed in C++, the user interface in JavaScript. The technical documentation, that is the Fusion 360 design files and the STL files, the circuit board design files and the entire software are publicly and completely available on GitHub. They may be rebuilt and further developed for private use. This brings me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoy rebuilding the digital radio and look forward to your comments and questions.